Hey YouTubers, welcome to the channel. I'm Tony the Technician and today we're going to be going into Harbor Freight's website and checking out five tools I believe you should consider. So these aren't going to be like Harbor Freight's top five tools or things like that. It's just five tools I believe to be worth the purchase or at least worth looking at when considering certain types of tools. So first up we're looking at a punch and chisel set. I have actually a few from Harbor Freight we're just going to combine and say it's one item. Uh, just to consider because I had them in the past, didn't have any, any major issues with them, and I know a lot of people that have used them for years, and they're just a great set for the price. No, they're not the best punch and chisel set available, but for the price, I mean, it's it's a pretty great deal. Uh, so this is $15. This is a 12-piece set. Looking down here, this set specifically is made of carbon steel. This set includes six chisels, four pin punches, and two center punches. And then it's the, the hex shape design in order to prevent the tools from rolling away. But they hold up really well for the price. Now eventually they're going to take damage, but for the price they're a great beater set. So just keep these in mind. And then I'm just going to roll through a couple others that I think you should consider as well. Another one is their cold chisel and punch set. This is a 12 piece set as well. This one was $17. It is going to include six pin punches, three chisels, two center punches, and a starter punch. And this set is actually chrome vanadium construction and still has the same design with the, the hex. You know, most all punch and chisel sets come with that hex design. It's either that or, you know, like a comfort grip handle on some of them. But these ones do have the, the painted coating, so they're easily visible. All three sets do, actually. Uh, but you get a good selection here. So I think all of these are great, especially for the 15 to $18 price range. So that is just another one to consider. And then the other one being the jumbo punch and chisel set. This is the 10 piece set. So it's a little bit smaller. It is $15 though. So the lowest of all of them, once again, they're, they're all, you know, going to be great beater sets. So if you're not looking at spending a whole lot of money, but something that can take some use and abuse this is definitely one to consider if you don't want to go out and spend um, you know a decent amount on punch and chisels because when you get into the higher quality stuff they do come with uh, a little bit more of a price tag on them so this one is also chrome vanadium steel and this one is going to include three cold chisels three pin punches three taper punches and one center punch so each one has a little bit of variation as far as the styles included in the sets uh, but once again all of them a good selection and one to consider number two on the list being the 1500 watt 11 amp dual temperature heat gun now if you use these day in and day out depending on how much you use them day in and day out like if you use a heat gun all the time probably not your thing i know my buddy at work he's used them for years and the one he has currently he's probably had about a year and a half and his thought process is, you know, he uses it almost every single day. Um, you know, it's not continuous use, but it's every single day while we're at work and it's held up really well. He's not looking at going out and spending $50, but he said, usually these things last, you know, about two years. And then he goes and he buys a new one and he, I think he's on his third one now. So, I mean, over six years he, he's spent the $50, but then again, like the way these things operate with the heat and resistance no real heat gun is probably gonna last forever depending on how much you use it but i think for 18 dollars, this is fantastic when he first started buying them i think he said he bought his for 15 dollars or a little bit cheaper but still at 18 dollars, i still think it's a great deal harbor freight does have other ones that they offer that are obviously going to be a little bit better quality but i think especially if you're a diyer and you don't really use a heat gun all that often this is definitely the route to go. Not a big worry as long as you don't, you know, drop this thing too hard. Uh, but they do have some other ones that they have available. As you can see, like this is the Bauer one. This is literally the exact same thing as the TAC Life one that I have. It, identical. Same factory makes it um, for $40. And it's, it's a great heat gun. It's got a dial on the back to control temperature and everything like that. But if you're looking at saving money for a tool that you might not use all the time, this is definitely another one to consider, and it's just a good tool to have around, even if you don't really think you'll use it. I mean, $18, it's it's going to come in handy eventually. Here we have the Braun 1200 Lumen LED Rechargeable Underhood Work Light. This one is $65 down from its original price of $75. Of course, they compare it to the Matco. Let's look at it this way. There are now 
a lot of underhood work lights on the market. Five, six years ago, there really weren't a lot of options. You really had your high-end ones. Even some of the pro brands at Lowe's and Home Depot didn't really have underhood work lights. Now they all have their fair share of work lights. Um, before it was, you know, Snap-on, Matco, Mac, you know, all the, all the tool truck brands had underhood work lights, and then you had a couple on the mainstream market that you could find. Uh, but none of them were really cheap except for the one at Harbor Freight that was before the Braun 845 lumen. This is an exact remake of, I think it was LumaWorks or Lumar or something like that from Harbor Freight. I had that underhood work light. I think it was like something like $20, $25. I don't know. Literally the cheapest underhood work light you, you would ever find. And while it did provide light, it had a short battery life. You couldn't use it while it was charging. And they discontinued that, released this. I believe this one could use while it was charging. It is brighter than the original one. Uh, same design and everything like that, but brighter and a little bit more versatile for $40. I think they've brought some better ones to the table now. And even now with the market, there are a ridiculous amount of underhood work lights. So if you want just go on Amazon, type in underhood work light, you'll find a lot. But most of them are going to come with the price tag of 100 to $200. And then if you get into the pro brands, it's going to get even higher. But most of the time, you're not going to find too many with a decent design underneath $100. And I think this one does have a good design. I think it's got a good lumen rating. And at $65, I think that's a good price. So really, if you're not looking at spending $100 or more on an underhood work light, there aren't many options out there. And I think this is probably one of the best routes you can go uh, as far as underhood work lights under the $100 price range. So just some information on it. Obviously, 1200 lumen output, variable light modes of high and low. It's got the rotating lens. It's got clear, clear, striated, and opaque for diffused lighting or sharp lighting, 120 foot range. Works while charging, impact resistant, and extends up to 85 inches. Uh, it's great for underhood work. It's great for underbody work. And it's also great for interior. Uh, we got a picture up, actually. I use mine like this all the time when I was restoring and doing a lot of wiring and stuff in the in the Camaro so it's been very handy but I think this Braun is a good option once again if you're trying to stay underneath that hundred dollar price range next up is the Franklin 40 inch lightweight aluminum work platform this is fifty dollars this is basically your most basic design for this size of work platform these things can be extremely handy I use mine every week I have the old one from Harbor Freight that they discontinued the shorter one. It's probably the 20 inch. I don't know. It's half this size, but it's been fantastic. But I picked it up for something like 20 or $25. I mean, you really couldn't beat it and they discontinued it. You can find it in other places, but it no longer sells for that 20 to $30 price range. It's now $50, just like this large one. So if you're looking for something like this, this can, can be great. You know, like me, I do a lot of mobile repairs. So that's why I always take one with me and it's extremely handy. I also do detailing, which can be very handy for cleaning the tops of vehicles. You can use it in the shop or garage in order to reach things or working up. Maybe you have a bigger truck or something like that. Working in the engine bay, having a platform like this is extremely handy. So most of these this size are going to be $100 or more. So there are less than a handful, I want to say of ones that are actually under a hundred dollars at this $50 price range. So I think this is a good option. I wish Harbor Freight still offered the smaller one, but they do not, unfortunately. So this one does support up to 225 pounds. And here's another one that I found just to show you guys at Lowe's $50. This is the Warner work platform, 250 pound capacity. Other than that, there are not very many of these out there of this size that's going to be this price. Now, this one's not an adjustable height or anything like that, that some of the more expensive ones have a little bit more features, like they have a mid step and adjustable height and uh, obviously a little bit stronger build construction. But if you're looking for one, they are extremely handy to have. And this is going to be about the best pricing that you're going to find. Here's the old version of what I have. This one is sold at Northern Tool for $40. Regular price is $50, but this is literally identical to the one that I have. And I love this little platform. It's absolutely fantastic, but I wish Harbor Freight still sold it. Unfortunately, they do not. This one has a 350 pound capacity. 
And then last up is going to be the half gallon multi-purpose sprayer. Now, keep in mind, these things are not top quality, but they do work. I picked one up a couple years ago and I've owned probably three or four of them now. Uh, the, the only reason I end up getting rid of them is like, I have one chemical that I use to control weeds and stuff. And when it's put under pressure, it like coagulates. I don't know. It turns to like string. I don't know what, but it jams up in the fine mesh filter on the straw and it just eventually stops working. Uh, so no, these are not top quality, but some of these sprayers get pretty dang expensive. I have some IK sprayers, which I would never put any yard chemical in those because they're, they're pretty expensive, probably 40 or $50 each and, uh, fantastic sprayers, but I'm not about to destroy some of those. So these are great for yard work, whether you're, you know, doing any sort of weeding or anything like that. But these are also good for auto detailing. If you're trying to you know, save money. You can put your chemical on here. You can get a lot more chemical onto the area in a lot faster time than sitting there spraying constantly. You just pressurize this, spray for a while, repump, spray for a while. It's it's a lot easier than constantly spraying a bottle. So these are extremely affordable at six dollars down from seven dollars. And then sometimes you'll even find them on a a sale for really cheap. So I think this is a good option. Like I said, not the best things at Harbor Freight, but things I think are worth a consideration if you're looking for any of these types of items. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of your guys' thoughts on these items if you have any experience with them, good or bad. It's always good for others to be able to get more than just my input, and I always appreciate your guys' input. So go ahead and comment down below of your guys' thoughts. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'll see you guys next time.